But we're starting with a uh, baby Lilibet Diana, Meghan and Harry's baby girl who was born over the weekend. The name Diana is in memory of Harry's mum, of course, and Lilibet is the Queen's nickname because she couldn't pronounce her own name when she was little. Um, Linda, this is a bit of nice sentimentality, do you think? It is, yeah. I think it's lovely that they've named her after the Queen and also Diana. And I think Lilibet's a bit more modern than Diana because, you know, our, our names, like, change with time and everything. Like, no-one called Linda is, like, in their early sort of teens or anything. They're always in the 50s or 60s. Yeah. And I always wanted one of my grandchildren to have my name in the middle, but that never happened. So I wasn't very happy there. I wanted Nanny Linda's name somewhere in between Aww. one of their names. But that maybe they'll have another one. And if it's a boy, I still want Linda have in the middle. Have you requested that? I have several times, <laughs> I know, yeah. But, no, I think it's lovely to name her after Diana yeah. and the Queen. I think it's really nice. Yeah, what do you think, Jane? Listen, <laughs> Deep <laughs> breath. Go on, spit it out. When anybody has a baby, it's lovely, isn't it? But, I don't know, I just... Uh, Diana, yeah, I get, and I think that would have been really nice. But, actually, she's not going to be called Lily, but she'll be called Lily which they've made very clear. And, and Lilibet was very much a nickname, you know, it was... Uh, uh, the Queen couldn't say her name when she was a kid and her dad, King George V, kind of called her Lilibet because that was how it sounded. And then Prince Philip kind of took it up as an affectionate thing between the two of them. So I suppose it gives a link to the Queen, but, you know, like three weeks ago, Harry was sort of almost criticising his father's parenting skills and saying, yeah, but he that's how he was parented, which, you know, put the Queen's parenting skills in the in the spotlight. So I don't know, maybe I'm just a cynical old mm. bag. Mm. Yes, probably. Mm. Yeah, but mm. yes. yeah, I, know, yeah. I, don't know. I, I just feel, you know, either call her Lily or call her Lily but but it's sort of something and nothing for me anyway. I wanna believe. I wanna believe. <laughs> I really want to believe that this is a really sort of, you know, sentimental gesture, even a kind of uh, a token of, um, I don't know, like an apology or, or, you know, whatever we've done or what we, whatever we've said in the last few weeks. You know, we, we still love you and all of that, so we're going to give her this name. But to me, it just... I can't believe it. <laughs> I don't know why. It just feels like everything they do is for some other reason. But at the same time, I still think it's a little bit strange giving someone or, or, or naming someone a pet name that's someone else's pet name. You know, I bet we've all got pet names. I bet you anything, we've all got pet names for our part. Not that I'm afraid of it in the daytime. <laughs> repeat yours, but <laughs> it's like, if somebody phoned me up, if my niece phoned me up and said, See, that's the other thing. I wonder if they asked for permission. I wonder if they oh, phoned yeah. the Queen up and said, look, do you mind if we just, you know, give her your pet name? I, I would be interested to know. Um, if my niece phoned me up and said, look, uh, we're, we're having a new baby, can we call it Muck Sticks? Like, that's my that's nickname what for Muck. Yeah, Muck Sticks. <laughs> Don't ask. No, we won't. I'd be like, <laughs> no! And mainly because... It's mine. But then it's, it's my name. You all... don't own the name, no, do I you? Do. <laughs> we invented it. <laughs> and it's been copyrighted and it's yours. Um, but... Well, I think it's lovely, so good luck to her. Yeah, and all my kids have family names. So both of them, both Alfie and Florence, their first names are family names, their middle names are family names. And when it comes down to, to pet names... But they're actual names, Alfie. That, yeah, well, yeah, no, they, yeah, yeah, but then in Caribbean culture, the pet names are actual names. So my mum's uh, legal name on her birth certificate is Doris. It, but her pet name was Faye. So there's like a load of people in her life that never knew that her real name was Dorrit. They always just called her Faye, but that's how it works. And then, uh, although we don't have any of the pet names within for our kids, there are kids in our family who, whose first names are the pet names of, of, of grown ups, mm. because that's kind of the way it works. But in terms of um, asking Faye, permission. Faye is an actual name, isn't it? Yeah, so, so in Jamaican yeah. culture, your pet name is a real name, it's just yeah. an alternative yeah, yeah. real name. Yeah. Um, but in terms of asking permission, I don't think we did ask permission to give our kids the, the names that they have. Obviously, couldn't ask my mum because she's dead. Um, but, you know, we, we have other sort of pet names, with it, uh, family names within it, because I think it's a nice bit of sentimentality. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope so. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. <laughs> I, I really, really hope so. But anyway, I'm so bored with those two. <laughs> I promise you, Cal, we will not mention them again for the programme. Don't you worry.